that one person. Whoa! Whoa! You dropped your pizza. Or was it a paper airplane? Is he dead? If he's dead, how could we be here just decades later? Maybe it's his twin? Dude. Or, dude, too soon. Well, actually, I guess it's been a while. A long while. But still, not cool. Eh. What the? What is that? I can't tell what's happening when I click on that. Alright, I can activate this person now, I think. Oh, nope, I need one more. I thought it said I needed three. Okay. I mean, I can go in here. This kid just has the house to himself and he runs around doing his own thing? Okay. I like the boink noises that's going on. It makes me happy. Jar of loose change. Come on, Rudolph, you can jump too. I'm very confused. There's a doggo. I wish I could pet him. All dogs should be pettable in all games. If I were to become president, that would be my first decree. All dogs must be dependent or er, pettable in all video games. All the good boys and girls must be petted. It is now law. Now oh, zapped. What the? Isn't this already the furthest memory back? Yeah. Huh. I have no idea. Crimson, I think we're we're trying to get back to the future so we can transverse back slowly so we can stitch new memories together. But we went from like him being really old to him being childhood. Now we got to fill in the blanks. Wait, I just realized something. Hmm? A few memories ago, at the Sigmund signing house. Ugh, here we go. And the boss said he'd put his best people on the case. This was like ages ago, Neil. <laughs> but he didn't actually mean us, did he? Because Colin was originally assigned to Roxanne and freaking Rob. Freaking Rob. Yeah. Let it go, man. <laughs> that is utter bull hockey. Okay, calm down. No. I am rage. What? <gasps> He's going Hulk. Oh my god, did he just go Super Saiyan? Oh my god, that's awesome! Kami! Kami! Don't interrupt me! Ha! Duken! Oh my god, I love this game! Oh. <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Wow, you really moved up to getting you sued by two IP simultaneously. Oh, that was amazing. Sorry, Eva. He's still freaking Super Saiyan. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't have you go on thinking I've gotten lame. Or tame. Oh my god, that's awesome. You could say you brought that upon yourself. No, Neil. I really couldn't say that. Oh, that, that made me so happy. <laughs> Kame. Kame, wait for me to finish it. 
<laughs> so good. I don't have another one of those. Snap. There we go. I wanted it here. Boom. Yeah, did it. It was a paper airplane. Do it. Let us out. Thank you. All right, let's see where this goes. Oh, for whoa, we went from childhood. Whoa, dude, your memories are all jacked. He had a home procedure, Sigma Corp knockoff version. Cygnus Snorp. And oh, and we're back to old age. Whoa, Atlanta Center Cactus 135 cruising flight level 360. Cactus 135 Atlanta Center Roger. Stop it, Ultimator setting 3017. Have a good flight. Ultimator 3015. Thank you, Cactus 135. Stop! Hevo! Eh. Well, we've got a nice tailwind going for us. Sir, now that we're on in cruise, I just wanted to say it's an honor to be here with you, your first officer on your final flight. This may be my first time as first officer, but I won't let you down. It's all good. Rather poetic, really. Passing the baton and all. But you should know. As my co-pilot, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. Two things, sir? Yep. They're yes, Captain, and... and... Long landing gear down. <laughs> You're funny, sir. What did I just say? Yes, Captain. Ha, of course I'm just messing with you. Just remind me of back when I did my first flight as first officer, that's all. Man, my captain was a crazy mess. <laughs> yes, Captain. Hmm. You know I just said I was kidding, right? <laughs> yes, Captain. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and son come in and sit for a bit, if you don't mind. It's my last flight, after all. They're not gonna get this view, ag this view again. Yes, Captain. <laughs> now, he's like, now it's gonna be annoying. Oh, I was gonna say, Irene is not your wife's name. Irene, did you bring my family in? Thank you. What is that? Flight regulations were still chill back then, or back then, huh? Eh, time change. There's a book there, though. It seems significant. All right, just faces in a crowd. Oh, there's his family. Oh no, they walked right through us. So, what do you two say? One last round? Is it alright with management? Already approved. Special occasion and all. You heard him all. Go, go, go! Oh, 
Okay. Any of these people I can click on? No. Nope. Must be more back in the cabin. Come on. There you go. Oh, stretching. And also gotta move the mic. So, you gonna miss the view? On the big old birds? Sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. Oh, and don't... Don't you go renting those smaller planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they gave you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like, one of those monster double-deckers. Ha! I, I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the air with the airline in this. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. <laughs> I miss them so much. You know, Dad, all these years of flying and you never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, what heaven, huh? Psst. Don't tell your mother, but it was to impress a girl. Yeah, did it work? Sure, I guess. Oh, please! But the way your father acted, I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. <laughs> Shots fired, Dad. Hey now, Fia, don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite a stud back in the days. Captain, just reminded that we're on the record for the black box. <laughs> oh. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. <laughs> no. No, they really aren't. Oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, Captain. Yeah? Well then let me tell you a story about the one time involving a jar of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Okay, we need to maintain a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now. Shoot, shoot. Sir, we're not landing for another couple hours. I know. <laughs> that was funny. Can I talk to him again? Oh, whistling. That book is suspicious. So, uh, are you coming with or what? Nah, I like this view. I thought you were acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. <laughs> How about you? How about you go wrap up this memory and I'll join you shortly after. Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the picture from the seat's angle is just absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way the horizon meets the... Don't give me that... Don't give me that cucumber. Thank you for the lovely flat, sir. Cheers, hope you have a nice day. Oh, wait. Cheers, hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one. Hope you enjoyed the... Diany sucked. Uh... Yeah, sorry, it was a little rough. Not one of my better landings. The wind was... Aw. Really? One bad landing. He regrets. Okay. The last landing on Colin's career didn't quite hit the mark. Okay. Interesting.
It's an endless line of people. It's a black hole of airliners. Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that actually. But apparently we can leave the plane. Oh, a fellow cellist, eh? Here, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir. Yay! Are you good at cello? Ha, uh, not really. My wife is a real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I love playing it as a kid. I got a cello note. <laughs> that is true, Yuri. Beautiful instrument, though. Oh, okay, we already did that. Can I go up here? Or is it blocked off? It's blocked. All the people are gone. Watch, this guy messed up the flight. Or the landing. Okay, come on, it's time to go. Neil! Hey! Hey! Stop whistling! It's time to go! The heck! The heckin' heck! Okay, where's the dang memory? Couple stragglers. That's not safe. Where's the memory? It's the cello. a bummer. I was wanting the green ones. That'll do. That'll do, pig! I was just looking for... Whoa. Okay, back to Kid again. Uh, to be honest, Guffless, we're trying to figure out what's going on. Somehow our memories are all fragmented. Uh... How did we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time, the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? No, huh? it's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing the job. Relax, we'll manage. Things to click, kid. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? Nope. <laughs> this is your instrument. Get used to it. Loved playing the piano as a kid, my arse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong at grade school. <laughs> Your childish jabs aside, Eva, and, an un and on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about the possibility makes you feel that way?